In this video today, I will show you how you can easily grow your email list before you even have a website in place. All you need are two different things. One, you need access to Flowdesk. And two, you need an ebook. Maybe, you know, just a couple pages, don't overcomplicate it. So there are five simple steps to creating your lead magnet form in Flowdesk to grow your email list. Number one, you create a segment. Number two, you create an opt-in form. Number three, you create a workflow. And number four, you test. And number five, you launch. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with step number one, building a segment. So if you're in the Flowdesk dashboard, what you do is you click on audience right here. This is the first step. So once you click on audience, you click on segments. And once you click on segments, what you're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to move me down here. You click on new segment. And then what you do is you name the segment based on your ebook's name. So for me, it's going to be side hustle roadmap. Boom. And I'm going to give it this blue color. And then I'm going to click save. And here we are, we created our first segment. So this is really key. You want to make sure whatever products you're offering that you segment all of your members or users so that you later know, oh, these are the people who bought X, Y, Z. And why is this important? Because once you launch a different product at some point, you can then do targeted outreach. I love it. So cool. Okay, next up is step number two. We're going to create a form. So we're going to click on forms now. And then once you're at forms, you're going to click on new form. And here you can see like they have different things. So you, they have like pop ups, you can integrate in your website, you can yeah, you see here, different kinds of pop ups. But as I mentioned before, it's really cool if you don't have a website yet to use actually something that's more of a landing page. So we're going to go click here on the left side on full page. And then you can choose which template you like. They have different ones. I will actually choose this one. The good part is you can always customize it so you can change the font to match your brand, all of this. So let's click on customize it, choose a segment. Huh? What are we going to do? We're going to choose the segment that we just worked on. So side has a roadmap. That's the segment. I'm going to click on save. And now you can customize this. So you can add an image. So you click on this. You can upload an image. You can upload a photo for Unsplash. Oh, I love Unsplash, by the way, for business. Like it's usually tricky whenever you have images that require a business license because you're selling something, right? Like you have to pay for images. But with Unsplash, you don't. So it's for free and it's awesome. I use it all the time. Or you can use a GIF. So let me just do this real quick. Click on upload. And I'm going to use this image. When I click on this, I can always exchange it by just X, uh, clicking this X button. So this is just like a image that I used before for other tutorials. So I'm just going to keep it simple, but you can change this. The most important part, I kid you not, is the headline. There is this phenomenal book called Copywriting Secrets by uh, Jim Edwards. I will make sure to put a link in the description down below, but it all talks about how important the headline is. Like if your ebook doesn't sell, 99% of the time, that's because your headline sucks. So just make sure that you have a really catchy headline. I will not change this, but I will just show you real quick so you can like highlight this. You can customize the font here if you want like you know, something like this. And what's great too is that you can see a mobile preview right here or the desktop preview. Okay, let's go back to editing. So just do this. It's very simple, but again, it's like one entire page. So what you do next is you click on next. And I love how you have all the different steps up here too. It's so cool. So should we enable double opt-in? I would say no. That means like if someone has multiple email addresses, you don't want to have that. So I was always say no. When subscribers opt into this form, notify me. You can if you want, but this is not 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm a zero email inbox girl, so I don't want to be notified. <laughs> okay, so after this form is submitted, you can display a success message or redirect to a URL. I usually redirect to a URL on my website so that they actually get to know me better, but it's up to you. The success message, let me just show you in case you want to add this. If you go to design and then you click on just the form itself. So you need to go like into the little gray space. You see here, like you can have preferences added if you want to and save that. You can have an image on mobile or not. But most importantly, the success message is right here. So they have a friendly kind of thank you message, casual, but you can also have a custom one. So I'll just do a friendly one and just let's go back to customize. So no double opt-in, no, don't notify me. Okay, display success message. So we have the right uh, success message here. And then you just share your form, okay? This is so easy. One of the things I wanna just let you know is whenever you share a link, you know how you have like a little thumbnail coming up and like a preview. This one is not a great one when it comes to like the standard one because it's gonna show you the Flowdesk logo. You wanna show your image here and you don't wanna make advertisement for Flowdesk. You wanna make uh, advertise your ebook, right? Or your opt-in. So. You can put like a, a title here in a description and change the image. So like, let me show you real quick. If I were to do change this image, see like how it changes this. So it's no longer flow desk. So yeah. And then you can like change this, like your free side hustle roadmap, for instance, right? And you can see how this changes in the link for you. Okay, so you save this now. Don't make the mistake and share this all out yet because you will have a problem because we haven't set up yet the email to deliver your ebook or free resource. So let me show you real quick. Awesome. So you see now this beautiful landing page and you can even have like coming soon here or whatever you think it should be. And the only thing that you really need to know now is even if someone puts in the email address, they get into the segment, but nothing really happens. So what we need to do is we need to send that email with that free lead magnet. The question is, how are we gonna do it? Let me show you. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna create a workflow. So in the menu, you go back to workflow and then you click on new workflow. And you can see there are so many different templates. Uh, let's see. Nurture sequence, Let, oh, lead magnet delivered. Exactly what we want. So let's do this one, view details, okay. You can see this looks cool because it's very simple. So let's customize it. And here now, when we call it the lead magnet delivery begins with, a subscriber is added to a segment. Ooh, hmm. didn't we create a segment? Yes, the side has a roadmap, okay. That is our trigger. So whenever someone comes in here, we're going to send them this email. So now when you go into this email, click on edit. Okay, so now you have this here. Usually when you upload your logo, it shows this here. You can now like say, here's your free roadmap, something like this, right? And then the most important thing is click to download. This is where you need to add a link. And if you haven't watched my AWS tutorial on how to get a shareable link for your ebook or lead magnet or whatever you need, then watch this. I will make sure to link it right here, but also in the description down below. And this is where you basically put in the link that then goes to your ebook. Or what you can do too, is you can attach a file. So let me do this, upload a file. Oh, the only thing that you need to know is that it is less than 10 megabytes. So anyhow, then you can also even like put your name here, right? Like it's kind of like a personal touch. And the other thing too, that no one talks about that's so cool about Flowdesk is you can use their first name. So if you click an at and then first name, and then if they don't have a first name, you say friend, you can basically just personalize this, which is so cool. Okay, so then you click on finish once you're done with this. 
and then you click on publish. And that is literally how your lead magnet gets delivered. It's pretty simple, right? So click on publish and publish now. And this was it. And the most important thing now is for you to test it. So go back to your page that you just created. So you go back to forms. We have this here, so you can actually click here and do share page link. So there it is, copy. And then we're gonna test this right now. So let's do this real quick. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put in my email address. Oh, by the way, if you wanna test multiple times, there is this trick where before the at sign, you just put plus two, three, four, whatever. And then you can check with your email list multiple times the sequence, because if you already went through it, you can't go through it a second time. Click on download. Okay. And then you're going to check if the email's there. So the easiest way to look at this and figure out if everything worked is one, you go on to audience and you will see your contact right here, which is great. So there is the right segment created. Then what you can do is you could do workflow and this now lead magnet delivery should have at least one person in the workflow. Look at that total subscriber in workflow, completed workflow. It's completed because that delivers the email immediately. And then the last piece is that you go to your email and just see if you got it. So I sent this email here and this is the freebie email. And look at this, voila. And then when you click to download, it should open up your lead magnet. And once you're all set, that's when you then share it to all of your social accounts and really promote it. Because if you don't promote it, no one's gonna opt in. So make sure to promote it, put it in forums, do whatever is necessary to grow your email list. And here's just a warning. The first lead magnet usually doesn't work out. So again, change the copy of the title, change the copy of everything and see what really resonates with your audience the most. And if your lead magnet is not strong enough, just get another one. A big piece is that usually lead magnets that are kind of like a little bit more on the negative side of things. So like mistakes and everything usually perform way better. So like five mistakes I made that almost ruined my side hustle and here's how to fix them. That will be a really good lead magnet. And if you're working on your personal financial freedom right now by building a business that you truly love, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because that's what it's all about. I couldn't find a one sort of truth of all the knowledge around side hustle. So this is why I created this YouTube channel. And if you're interested in this, make sure to subscribe because I have so many amazing tutorials coming your way so that you can achieve personal and financial freedom the easy way.